Okay, on this tank, a prior owner of this Grand Banks 49 had put fiberglass on this tank to protect this corner and this turn of the tank from deterioration of water running down the side of the tank where the filler pipe was located about here up in this area and the water would drop on the top of the tank and it would run down the side of the tank and it would go around this curve so what he did was to try to extend the life of the tank he put a fiberglass layer over now I'm going to remove this fiberglass layer and you can see in the fiberglass layer the actual metal material the steel is now embedded in the fiberglass and this steel is removed from the tank and what has happened is that this steel is no longer contributing to the thickness of the tank if you look at the tank the way I look at the tank you'll see that, the, that on the inside the, there's a material that's moved over to this edge and it's contributing to the deterioration and this material is the steel scaling that's occurring as a result of heavy pitting inside the tank. The pitting comes from an accumulation of sludge at the bottom of the tank. Okay, this steel debris, this is steel debris. We recovered a hundred pounds of steel debris from two 500 gallon fuel tanks in the Grand Banks 49. That is 1,000 gallons of fuel equaled after about 30 years a hundred pounds of steel. And that hundred pounds of steel is from the insides of the tank and the bottom of the tank. And when the steel is released through scaling or pitting on the inside of the tank, it's very difficult to tell unless you drill holes in the tank to take samples and measure the thickness of the tank, which is the classical way to assess a tank. But what I do is I go into the tank with a special camera and I get a good look at the tank and then we empty the tank from fuel completely and then we vacuum out any residual fuel and then we study the bottom of the tank and estimate how much weight in, in, in this steel debris exists in the bottom of that tank. And then we can tell you what the life expectancy of the tank is going forward. People do ask me, what can I do to prevent this? And I tell them that you can easily prevent this activity on the inside of the, bank, the tank through the way you maintain the tank. Now, conventional wisdom is that you fill the tank to the top and keep it full at all times and thereby the tank can never get moisture on the inside. Well, that may be true, but the greater problem is, is that when the tank is kept full all the time, it's going to generate the greatest amount of this scaling. A hundred pounds comes from overfilling the tank far too much.